We've all experienced that sharp sting when someone's casual comment or offhand behavior leaves us feeling rattled or diminished. It's not just you. This is a universal experience that can sour even the best of days. However, here's the twist. While we can't control what others say or do, we can absolutely control how we react. This is where the ancient wisdom of Stoicism comes into play, teaching us the art of maintaining our tranquility against the odds. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that might just change the way you see your daily interactions, the types of people who can disrupt our peace, and how adopting a Stoic mindset can not only help us cope, but thrive amidst these challenges. So, buckle up and get ready for a journey into understanding as we explore practical Stoic strategies to shield ourselves from the negativity others might bring into our lives. This isn't just about avoiding toxicity, it's about building a fortress of calm around your soul. The Constant Critic We all know someone like this, individuals who seem to have a knack for finding fault in nearly everything around them. Whether it's your work, your choices, or even your successes, they rarely miss an opportunity to point out what could have been better. This constant negativity can start to weigh on you, diminishing how you view your own achievements. Stoicism teaches us the importance of differentiating between what we can control and what we cannot. The opinions of others, especially critics, fall into the category of things we cannot control. What we can control, however, is our reaction to these opinions. Stoicism urges us not to be swayed by external opinions that do not contribute positively to our growth. Instead, we should maintain our inner harmony and not let such negativity disrupt our peace of mind. It's important to recognize the difference between constructive feedback, which is meant to help us improve, and needless criticism that serves no purpose other than to discourage. Constructive feedback is usually delivered with respect and comes from a place of wanting to see improvements. Endless criticism, on the other hand, often lacks a foundation in genuine concern and can be harsh and demoralizing. Dealing with the critic in a stoic way begins with understanding that their criticisms say more about them than about us. It's about maintaining our composure and choosing not to let their words affect our self-esteem. We can listen because sometimes even the harshest critics might point out something useful, but we do not have to internalize everything they say. By sifting through their words, taking what is useful and discarding what is not, we practice one of the core tenets of Stoicism, focusing only on what is within our power to change, our thoughts and actions, not other people's opinions. The Drama Magnet You probably know someone who fits this description perfectly. Drama Magnets are those individuals who seem to thrive on chaos and conflict and have a talent for dragging others into their whirlwind of problems. It's as if their lives are a series of endless crises, each more dramatic than the last. Whenever you're around them, it feels like being in the eye of a storm, constantly dodging emotional debris. This can be incredibly draining, sapping your energy and diverting your attention from your own priorities and peace. Stoicism teaches the value of equanimity, the art of maintaining a calm and balanced mind, regardless of external circumstances. The Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca emphasize the importance of not allowing ourselves to be swept away by the emotional tumult of others. They would advise us to guard our inner tranquility jealously because once lost, it can be difficult to regain. In dealing with drama magnets, it's crucial to stay calm and detached. This doesn't mean being indifferent or uncaring. Rather, it involves understanding that getting sucked into someone else's drama doesn't help them and certainly harms us. It means recognizing when a situation is not our battle to fight or when our intervention does nothing but add to the chaos. By maintaining a clear boundary between their turmoil and our peace, we protect our emotional stability, which is far too precious to be jeopardized. Practically keeping your calm around a drama magnet involves being observant and recognizing the patterns in their behavior. If you notice that interactions often lead to heightened emotions or unnecessary conflict, 
prepare yourself mentally before engaging. Keep interactions brief and focused and avoid topics that are likely to lead to drama. If drawn into a dramatic situation, remind yourself of the stoic principle that we can control our responses even if we can't control the situation. Focus on responding with calmness and rationality rather than emotion. The Manipulator. These are the individuals who have mastered the art of bending reality to their will. They twist words and manipulate situations so subtly that you might not even realize what's happening until it's too late. Manipulators are adept at exploiting your kindness, generosity or empathy for their own gain, often leaving you feeling used, drained or downright deceived. Stoicism offers a robust framework for protection and response. It teaches the importance of wisdom and self-control, two invaluable tools in identifying and dealing with manipulators. Wisdom in this context involves the ability to see situations clearly for what they are, not just what they appear to be. It means developing the discernment to notice when someone's actions don't align with their words or when their requests seem to serve their interests disproportionately. Self-control is equally critical when dealing with manipulative behavior. Manipulators often rely on eliciting strong emotional reactions to get what they want, whether it's guilt, fear, sympathy, or even love. They play on these emotions to push you into acting against your better judgment. Stoicism advises us to maintain a level head and emotional neutrality, which helps prevent our buttons from being pushed. By not allowing our emotions to cloud our judgment, we can see the manipulator's intentions more clearly and respond from a place of rationality rather than impulse. Moreover, Stoics emphasize the virtue of justice, which involves treating others fairly and being treated fairly in return. Recognizing manipulation signals that the relationship is not grounded in fairness or respect. Keeping your distance from manipulators is not just a protective measure, but a stand for justice in your interpersonal relations. It sends a clear message that deceitful tactics are neither effective nor welcome. To effectively keep manipulators at bay, practice assertiveness. Be clear about your boundaries and enforce them consistently. When you communicate your limits with confidence and clarity, you leave little room for a manipulator to exploit. It's also helpful to keep interactions factual and devoid of unnecessary personal information, which manipulators could use as leverage against you. The Flake These are the individuals who are brimming with enthusiasm at the beginning of a project or when making plans. Their energy is infectious and it's easy to get swept up in their excitement. However, as time goes on, you might notice a pattern they invariably bail on commitments just when you count on them the most. This can be incredibly frustrating, especially when you've adjusted your schedule or turned down other opportunities to accommodate what you thought were mutual plans. Stoicism places a high value on personal virtue, one of which is reliability, being true to your word. For Stoics, your word is a reflection of your character. Consistently following through on what you've promised is not just about keeping your commitments. It's about being a person of integrity and trustworthiness. Dealing with the flake requires a balanced approach. First, it's important to understand that while everyone can occasionally miss an appointment or change plans due to unforeseen circumstances, a chronic flake often doesn't realize the impact of their unreliability on others. Here, the stoic practice of empathy and understanding comes into play. Try to understand the reasons behind their behavior. Sometimes it's a matter of overcommitment, poor time management, or even underlying fears of inadequacy that prevent them from following through. However, understanding does not mean enduring repeated disappointments. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control. You cannot control another person's actions, but you can control how you react and how you choose to let their actions affect you. If someone consistently fails to meet their commitments, it might be wise to adjust your expectations and depend less on them. This isn't about resentment or retribution. 
It's about protecting your peace of mind and focusing your energies on more reliable relationships. Moreover, valuing those who honor their word as the Stoics value virtue means actively choosing to spend more time with people who are reliable and trustworthy. Recognize and appreciate the people in your life who show up when they say they will. These relationships build and sustain trust, creating a foundation for deeper, more meaningful connections. In your interactions with the flake, you might also consider gently confronting them about the impact of their behavior. A Stoic would handle this conversation with calmness and clarity, not as a confrontation, but as an opportunity for mutual growth. Explain how their unreliability affects you and suggest ways they could improve. Sometimes a little awareness can go a long way. The Victim This type of person might be familiar to many of us. The victim tends to see themselves as perpetually caught in the crossfire of life's misfortunes. No matter what happens, they perceive themselves as the target, never at fault, and always suffering more than others. They have a narrative for every situation, and in each one, they play the starring role of the unfortunate soul dealt a bad hand. This refusal to take accountability for their actions can be draining, especially when every conversation turns into a recount of their grievances and how the world is seemingly aligned against them. Stoicism teaches us the importance of empathy and understanding towards others' struggles. However, it also emphasizes the necessity of guarding our own emotional well-being. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, famously noted that our reactions to external events are more within our control than the events themselves. When dealing with the victim, this means recognizing when empathy is turning into an emotional drain. It's crucial to offer support but equally vital to protect yourself from being dragged into a continuous cycle of negativity. A stoic approach to handling the victim involves setting clear boundaries. This isn't about being cold or dismissive, but about maintaining a healthy distance that prevents their outlook from overshadowing your own perspectives and emotional state. When you interact with someone who constantly views themselves as a victim, it's helpful to gently encourage them to see how they might have the power to change their circumstances or their reactions to them. This isn't about dismissing their feelings, but helping them realize their agency and capacity for resilience, key principles in Stoic thought. Practicing Stoicism means not allowing ourselves to be overly affected by someone else's narrative of perpetual suffering. Stoics strive to maintain internal tranquility and rational thinking, focusing on what can be controlled. This includes our perspective and our emotional responses. When the victim begins their familiar refrain, remind yourself that while you can offer support, you are not responsible for changing their view of the world. You can listen, provide advice when appropriate, and then step back, maintaining your peace of mind. In your interactions, always aim to strike a balance between compassion and self-preservation. This balance is critical not just in dealings with the victim, but in all relationships. By fostering this equilibrium, you ensure that you're giving others the empathy they deserve while not compromising your own emotional stability. Through this stoic practice, you'll find that you can be a supportive friend or colleague without losing yourself in someone else's story of misfortune. The Superior These are individuals who carry themselves with an air of superiority, often looking down on others as if they hold a higher status. They believe they're better than everyone else and aren't shy about showing it, whether through dismissive comments condescending advice, or simply through an attitude that subtly or not so subtly places others beneath them. This behavior can be quite off-putting, creating an atmosphere of discomfort and even resentment. From a Stoic perspective, this kind of superiority is misguided. Stoicism teaches us that true superiority isn't about social status, financial wealth, or academic accolades. It comes from living a life of virtue and ethical integrity. The Stoics believe that the best measure of a person's worth is their character, 
their ability to act with wisdom, justice, courage and moderation, regardless of their external circumstances. In this view, belittling others is actually a sign of weakness, not strength. It shows a lack of the very virtues that define true greatness. When encountering the superior, Stoicism offers a grounding perspective. It encourages us not to be disturbed by their arrogance, but to remain focused on cultivating our own virtues. Remember, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent, as Eleanor Roosevelt wisely put it, which aligns closely with Stoic principles. Your self-worth comes from within, based on your own efforts to live rightly, not from how others perceive or treat you. Furthermore, when dealing with the superior, it can be helpful to practice empathy, another Stoic value. Often, such superiority complexes stem from insecurities or past experiences, where perhaps they felt undervalued themselves. Understanding this doesn't excuse their behavior, but it can help you respond with calmness and compassion, rather than defensiveness or anger. By doing so, you uphold your dignity and stay true to Stoic teachings, which value rational responses over emotional reactions. In your interactions, strive to exemplify the virtues you value. This not only sets a positive example, but also creates a contrast to their behavior that can sometimes lead them to self-reflection. If the superior's behavior becomes too detrimental to your peace of mind, remember that Stoicism also teaches us the importance of choosing our associations wisely. It's entirely within your rights and good judgment to distance yourself from those who consistently undermine the well-being of others through their arrogance. By embodying the true Stoic definition of superiority, which champions virtue over vanity, you reinforce the idea that real strength lies in character, not in a perceived hierarchy. This not only benefits your personal growth, but can also subtly influence those around you to reconsider their own attitudes and behaviors. The envious. They may not openly express their dissatisfaction, but you can sense a subtle coolness or negative remarks that suggest they're less than thrilled about your accomplishments. This jealousy isn't just about wanting what you have. It's about a deeper discomfort with seeing others succeed or being happy. Stoicism teaches us a powerful lesson in dealing with envy, both in ourselves and in others. The philosophy urges us to focus on being content with our own lives and the paths we are on, rather than comparing ourselves to others. For the Stoics, the key to happiness lies in focusing on what we control, like our actions, reactions, and our pursuit of virtue, rather than external achievements or possessions, which are often beyond our control. When you encounter the envious, remember that their feelings are a reflection of their internal struggles, not a true measure of your worth or success. Stoicism encourages us to empathize with the pain that often lies behind their envy. Perhaps they are dealing with their own insecurities or life challenges that make it difficult for them to celebrate the achievements of others. This understanding can help you respond to them with kindness and patience, rather than resentment or anger. However, while Stoicism advocates for empathy, it also teaches the importance of protecting your own peace of mind. If someone's envy results in persistent negativity, it might hinder your progress and even affect your own feelings of self-worth. In such cases, it's wise to lovingly distance yourself from such individuals. This isn't about cutting people out of your life with harsh judgments, but rather about setting boundaries that preserve your emotional well-being. Strive to cultivate contentment in your own life by appreciating your own journey with all its unique challenges and victories. This internal satisfaction will make you less susceptible to the negative impacts of envy, both feeling it yourself and being the target of it. The stoic practice of focusing on personal virtue and progress rather than external validation fortifies you against the destabilizing effects of envy. In your interactions with the envious, try to be a model of stoic contentment and compassion. Show through your actions that true happiness comes from within and is not diminished by the success of others. This can be a subtle but powerful way to influence their outlook 
possibly inspiring them to adopt a more stoic and contented approach to life themselves. In doing so, you not only safeguard your own emotional state, but also contribute positively to the lives of those around you. The Gossip They thrive on the currency of rumors, relishing in the sharing of information that is often neither confirmed nor benign. Gossips seem to find a peculiar joy in stirring trouble, watching the ripples of their words spread through social groups or workplaces. What might start as a seemingly harmless chat can quickly spiral into situations where reputations are damaged, feelings are hurt, and trust is eroded. Stoicism, a philosophy grounded in principles of virtue, offers a compelling antidote to the culture of gossip. Stoics place a high value on truth and discretion, principles that stand in stark contrast to the nature of gossip. They teach us to be mindful of our speech and to consider the impact our words have on others. According to Stoic principles, every piece of information we pass on should ideally pass the threefold test. Is it true? Is it necessary? Is it kind? If our remarks do not meet these criteria, they are likely better left unsaid. Engaging in gossip not only harms those about whom the gossip is spread, but also diminishes our own character and personal integrity. Stoicism teaches that our character is determined by our actions and choices. When we choose to spread rumors or engage in the discussion of unfounded information, we align ourselves with dishonesty and harm, moving away from the stoic ideal of living a virtuous life. Moreover, gossip can lead to a toxic environment, whether at work, in social circles, or even within families. It creates divisions and mistrust among individuals who might otherwise cooperate and support one another. For Stoics, the health of the community and the relationships within it are of paramount importance. They advocate for harmony and mutual respect, recognizing that a strong community can support the moral and personal growth of each individual. When faced with gossip, a Stoic would advise us to either steer the conversation towards more positive or factual topics, or to politely remove ourselves from the situation. This not only prevents the potential harm that gossip can cause, but also sets a standard for others. By not participating in gossip, you reflect the Stoic values of integrity and truthfulness, potentially inspiring others to reconsider their own engagement in such discussions. The Control Freak Watch out for the Control Freak, a type of person who seems to believe that they alone hold the playbook for how everything around them should unfold, including the actions and decisions of others. Whether in a work setting, in friendships, or family dynamics, they exert an intense desire to direct every detail, often pushing beyond boundaries to make sure everything aligns with their specific vision or preference. This need for control can be suffocating, making you feel as if your own opinions and desires are constantly being overshadowed or outright ignored. Stoicism, a philosophy rich in practical wisdom, offers profound insights into dealing with situations like these. Stoics emphasize the importance of understanding what is within our control and what isn't. According to Stoic thought, the most crucial and indeed the only true control we possess is over our own thoughts and actions. External circumstances, including the behavior of a control freak, often lie beyond our direct control. Recognizing this can be incredibly liberating. It allows you to detach from the frustration of trying to change or influence someone who is determined to control everything. Asserting your independence when dealing with a control freak involves a calm yet firm reassertion of your boundaries. It means clearly communicating your needs and limits and not being afraid to stand your ground when these are challenged. It's important to be articulate about what you are and aren't willing to compromise on. Remember, while you might not be able to control the other person's behavior, you can control how you respond to it and choose not to be subjected to it more than necessary. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us not to react impulsively to external pressures, but to respond with reasoned choices. When interacting with a control freak, try to maintain a composed demeanor. This doesn't mean being passive, rather, it involves responding in ways that are considered and reflective of your values. 
for example, instead of engaging in a power struggle or responding with frustration, a stoic approach would be to express your perspective clearly and logically, making it known that while you respect their viewpoints, you also expect the same respect in return. In practicing these principles, you not only protect your own mental and emotional well-being, but also foster a sense of respect and understanding in your relationships. Even a control freak, confronted consistently with calm assertiveness and clear boundaries, may come to recognize the value of compromise and mutual respect. This approach aligns with the stoic ideal of living according to reason and virtue, promoting not only personal tranquility, but also healthier, more balanced interactions with others. The pessimist. They have a unique ability to see the downside in every situation, no matter how positive or promising it may seem to everyone else. Their constant negativity isn't just a personal outlook. It can spread like a cloud over any gathering or conversation, often draining the energy of those around them. Dealing with a continuous stream of pessimism can be not only exhausting, but also demoralizing, as it may begin to tint your own view of situations with doubt and cynicism. In the face of such persistent negativity, Stoicism offers a robust and comforting philosophy. Stoics strive to maintain a tranquil mind, which involves not getting swept away by the external ebbs and flows of life, including the negative perspectives of others. They teach us to focus on improving our inner selves, cultivating virtues like patience, resilience, and perspective. These virtues help us to see beyond immediate appearances and to recognize that most situations have both positive and negative aspects. Aiming to surround yourself with positivity is not about ignoring reality or the genuine hardships that life can bring. Instead, it's about choosing to focus on the elements that uplift and support your well-being. This doesn't mean cutting out every pessimistic person in your life. Sometimes these individuals might be close friends or family members, but it does mean consciously spending more time with those who energize you and less time with those who drain you. Engaging with a pessimist from a stoic viewpoint involves showing empathy and understanding. Often, their outlook stems from their experiences or inherent fears. Showing kindness and offering a different perspective can sometimes help lighten their view. However, stoics also recognize the importance of safeguarding one's own peace of mind. If someone consistently impacts your ability to remain balanced and positive, it might be necessary to limit your exposure to their negativity. When encountering pessimism, use it as an opportunity to practice stoic reflection. Question the validity of negative statements and consider alternative, more positive or neutral viewpoints. This exercise not only strengthens your resilience against negativity, but also enhances your ability to remain equanimous in a variety of challenging situations. By adopting a stoic approach to dealing with pessimism, focusing on personal growth, maintaining a tranquil mind, and choosing your social environment wisely, you create a life less affected by the negativity of others. This promotes not only personal happiness and stability, but also makes you a beacon of positivity for those influenced by their own pessimistic tendencies. The sycophant. This type of person is often characterized by their excessive flattery and a tendency to be present only during your good times. They seem endlessly supportive and complimentary when things are going well and when there's something to gain from associating with you. However, their presence and praises often wane when times get tough or when there's no immediate benefit for them. This lack of sincerity makes it difficult to trust their motives or build a genuine connection with them. Stoicism, a philosophy grounded in virtues such as sincerity, integrity, and mutual respect, offers valuable insights into dealing with sycophantic behavior. Stoics believe that authentic relationships are built on a foundation of honesty and reciprocity. These relationships should not be contingent upon one's status, success, or what one party can gain from the other. Rather, they should be based on a mutual respect for each other's character and a genuine interest in each other's welfare. 
In navigating relationships with sycophants, it is essential to recognize the superficial nature of their interactions and understand that this is not aligned with Stoic values. A Stoic approach would involve observing their behavior without immediate judgment, but with a mindful awareness of the potential lack of depth in the relationship. This awareness allows you to protect yourself from potential emotional exploitation and maintain your focus on developing relationships that are more truly reciprocal and grounded in real affection and respect. Moreover, dealing with sycophants provides an opportunity to practice stoic principles of emotional detachment and indifference to flattery. Stoics teach that we should remain indifferent to external validations that do not genuinely reflect our true self. This practice helps to cultivate self-reliance, where your sense of worth and validation comes from within, based on your virtues and actions, rather than from external praises that may be motivated by self-interest. While it may be tempting to dismiss sycophants entirely, Stoicism also encourages us to respond with kindness and understanding. Often, sycophantic behavior stems from insecurities or a misguided understanding of how to form meaningful connections. By modeling authentic and respectful behaviors and gently encouraging these traits in others, you can help guide those around you toward more sincere interactions. As we close today's discussion, remember that embracing Stoic principles not only enriches your interactions, but empowers you to cultivate deeper, more meaningful relationships. Thank you for joining us here at Be Stoic and for exploring how to navigate life's challenges with wisdom and virtue. If you found this enlightening, don't miss our next video popping up on your screen now where we dive even deeper into Stoic wisdom. Thank you for being part of our community. Stay wise and see you next time.